this Disney Hulu merge situation is is wild. I don't know how they're going to be able to pull this one. I don't know how they pull this one off. I really don't. Don't know how they pull off this Disney Hulu merge. Or maybe it's because I'm hearing that it was overseas. It is kind of like that already with the Star app. And they already have things placed in a certain way. But we'll see how they pull that off, man. This is coming from Collider. It says Disney is to purge content from streaming platforms as Disney Plus and Hulu merge. Uh, Disney is taking a note out of Walt Dis out of Warner Brothers Discovery Notebook as the company announced it will cut content from Disney Plus and Hulu on the latest investors call. In addition to removing content from Disney Plus and other streaming services, the House of Mouse also told investors they will be producing less content moving forward. That's good. You have to give people. I know we live in this microwave age, but in all reality, if you want if you want something to be sustained, you have to give them enough time to digest, right? You give me the time to digest and actually watch this show or this movie. And if I don't get it, I can go back and rewatch it because I didn't get it. Right. I'm like, damn, what did I miss? Something ain't right. Let me go back and rewatch. it. But if you're constantly coming with content, I watch it. And if I didn't get it, at least I could put down on the check mark. I watch this one on to the next. And to me, that's that's detrimental to the bottom line of a lot of these streaming services. Bulk, matter of fact, bulk. Boop, I'm dropping all 20 episodes or whatever. Bad business model. Horrible business model. The whole thing about a streaming service is to keep people subscribed. If I drop a whole season, people watch that in a day, day and a half. If ain't nothing else on Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, HBO Max or Max, whatever it's called now, Paramount, all of these streaming services, guess what? They cancel or they can cancel because there's no incentive to stay. Shit, I got to watch all the shows in two days. I'm good. But that classic release every week, boom, I'm going to hit you with a new episode. If I got 12 episodes, for the most part, at least I got this person for 12 weeks. Right? Once that stops, I drop another new show or original whatever you want to call it 10 episodes at least i got that person for 10 weeks now that's two you know what i'm saying that's that would be like what two months of subscriptions i hit them for two real quick so uh says no company is an island in the age of financial capitalism and even powerhouses such as disney needs to justify their business strategies to outside investors these business strategies that a lot of these companies are doing, they don't make sense. A lot of them don't make sense. This streaming has hurt a lot of people. People thought this was the wave. People thought this was the future. This shit is, it's not. It's not because it's, it's damn near all make-believe. It's damn near all make-believe. There's nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's all make-believe. When you, you, this is basically... You putting all your eggs in one basket. Because that's what they did when it came to the stream. It's like they neglected everything else and said, we're going full stream. Full stream. So in the latest Disney investor call late, uh, last Wednesday, the company commented, commented, commented on Disney Plus recently losing more than 2 million subscribers. The service most significant drop of clients since 2019 release to diminish expenses. Disney CEO Bob Iger assessed ensured investors that the company would be more careful about green light new tv shows and movies as all of the content made for disney plus should be aimed at retaining or growing the streamers subscribers who just said that? oh that was me didn't i just say that like you want retention you want retention netflix biggest thing out biggest streamer service they dropped that stranger things i'm pretty sure a spike in viewership goes up two days three days later that shit falls right back down but i guarantee if they would have re released it in an episodic week to week basis it would have went up and it would have stayed up would have went up stayed up because you're keeping people intrigued. Find out next time on Dragon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
Keep people intrigued. He said, this is what Bob Arger said. He said, we realized that we made a lot of content that is not necessarily driving sub growth. And we're getting much more surgical about what it is we make. So as we look to reduce content spend, we're looking to reduce it in a way that should not have any impact on all the subs. Well, it seems like that's a lot because I'm hearing 4 million subscribers dipped out. Might not be a lot in regards to what Disney got going on, but I think they think they're too big to fail. I think they believe that that Disney name carries so much weight that they can damn near put everything on cruise control. Nope, yep, that ain't gonna work. That is not gonna work. So, what do you know? What what do we think about this merger? I think. Because the crazy part is they don't own the whole thing of Hulu. I think Paramount owns a third of it. Disney is majority of owners, but I think Paramount owns a third of Hulu. So what do you do? You can't just say, oh, I'm going to revamp Hulu and put everything how I want it. When you have a, another investor, another owner, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're about to divest and sell off hulu to paramount the whole thing or you're buying from paramount the hulu ports because that's been the ongoing thing this whole spring is disney gonna buy hulu right well we'll see are they gonna sell hulu because they gotta i think by next year they either have to buy it outright or sell it outright that's the next move when it comes to Disney and Hulu. So y'all let me know what y'all think. How does this would this make or break you? I'm pretty sure it's gonna be different price points with this merger. Um no password sharing. You know, it's it's gonna be some stuff. The price is gonna go up. We'll see, man. We'll see. Hulu, Disney Plus merging. We got HBO Max and Disney uh Discovery channel merging what's next man what's next what's what's being merged next because i honestly think that they're trying to get back to that old school television programming situation see now right now the the um how the saying go I can't even think to say either way. Oh, that's what it is. The that ain't the right way. I can't use that. The patients have are taking over their silo. I use it like that. Because that's basically what's going on. That's what's going on. So I said so the event of stream platforms completely changed the home media business, and Disney even promised to add its full animation catalog to Disney Plus. However, the Mouse House also chose to lock in some classic 20th century movies, right? But what's gonna stay, what's gonna go, I don't know. That's up for Disney to choose. Um, I don't I'm not on Disney Plus a lot. I know that you know they got a large catalog of things like that, but I'm not on there a lot. Just not. So I this wasn't this won't affect me in the least bit. In the least bit, this won't affect me. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this Disney Hulu merger situation. Is it good? Is it bad? Y'all let me know. Let me know.